The Law and Policy Program is focused on developing enabling legal and regulatory frameworks to support the use of big data analytics in national security. It's a collaborative effort between our Commonwealth agencies, La Trobe University, Deakin University and UNSW Law. Just because we can build it doesn't mean we can use it. That's a statement that our chairman Tim Scully often uses to describe some of the challenges that national security agencies face when they try and deploy new technologies. And that challenge is equally applicable to the challenges that we face as we try and deploy our technologies to our national security partners. So the Law and Policy Program is there to enable us to explore the balance between people's rights to privacy and the needs of national security as we start to develop our technological solutions for our national security partners. A lot of people get confused about what privacy law actually is. One major part of it is control over the collection and handling of your own personal information. But there are other dimensions to it that are also really important. Things like data quality, data integrity and data security. So it's not just about collecting and handling personal information. Privacy is not an absolute right, it's a right that's an individual right that needs to be balanced against other community rights. And some of those other community rights are considered to be law enforcement and national security interests. So the interest in sharing information appropriately to deal with law enforcement issues and to deal with national security issues. One of the key issues that's starting to emerge from the use of personal information in national security and also law enforcement applications is the use of big data analytics. Big data holds great promise for national security and law enforcement. Automated analysis of large volumes of data can speed up the process of detecting threats, managing the risks, supporting analysis and supporting investigation. But there are very real risks to be mitigated. Privacy risks, data security risks, and also integrity risks of analysis of data. The current legal framework is too dated to support those opportunities and mitigate the risks appropriately. The information sharing rules in particular are very dated and very complex. And in addition to that, the globalization of data and the data industries challenge domestic solutions. I think the biggest challenge facing information sharing in the national security community is the complexity of the current legal framework. So what you have is you have lots of laws for specific agencies as well as laws for specific data sets that restrict how information is used. These use inconsistent terminology as well as inappropriate terminology. For example, they assume that there's such a thing as possession of data. Now, if you think about paper in a filing cabinet, of course you can have possession of it. But if you're thinking about data in the cloud, those kinds of concepts become significantly more confusing. So we need greater clarity and consistency. What we really need is a sort of overhaul of the laws that brings people along with it. So people are also concerned with how government is using information. We need to have a consultation process with the public around what government needs to use information for, why those uses are important, so if you like use cases, for the information. And then what needs to happen is that we need to build on that to draft a clear and consistent legal framework that explains precisely when information can and cannot be shared. There are significant opportunities for big data technologies to support national security and law enforcement in Australia, but also significant opportunities to work collaboratively with government and with society to identify the best policy solutions that would enable the responsible implementation of new data technologies in the space.